trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm kind of taking it back today, giving you a little kind of throwback style of video and everything. Once upon a time I started a wash and go. <laughs> so I started a wash and go in February, but I was traveling and it was looking like it was going to be big and I was like, I can't finish it today because I need my hair to last, but I want to do it again. Today is that day where I do it again. I reached out to Inasi Naturals and they were kind enough to send me the custard so that I can do it again. The custard, the leave-in and actually their styling cream. So I didn't use the styling cream today. I'm going to probably do like a braid out video later on and show you guys the styling cream. But I am going to show you some of the ingredients and everything today. I really just wanted to see how the custard worked. So I'm excited to be able to come back and show it to you guys. But yeah, this is my hair. This is my result. Kind of big natural look but still some definition so I am enjoying my hair shape as usual you guys know I love any kind of hair shape as long as it's cute and for it and I'm liking this I did a wash and go with basically the Inasi aloe hibiscus leave-in and the coconut avocado curl defining custard so since I finished the last custard and this custard does look a little bit different and since you know hair the more the merrier I decided to like splice in my old video with this new attempt and just kind of show you both versions different seasons different batches of product and you know see how it looked different and see how it came out basically on my hair it's like me versus me is so weird but it works I hope anyway it's just interesting to see how I felt then and how I felt now and how kind of pretty much seamless they were like it was pretty much the same stuff I was saying you know I do my reviews kind of on the spot how it's going and it was pretty much the same stuff I was saying both times even with like eight months difference in between I started this wash and go before Rona finishing it now like in the middle of our second wave, third wave, wherever we're at <laughs> how times have changed so let's just jump into applying the product and I'll come back with my reveal <laughs> take a look Nasty <laughs> aloe hibiscus leave-in this is actually my second bottle love it can't wait to use it again so this leave-in is just so moisturizing but more slip than the deep conditioner so it's just kind of everything nice texture and everything so yeah I didn't even put that much but for me anyway <laughs> and it's like it's feeling really good considering how much I put so I do think with the leave-in a little goes a long way as you know the shampoo is one of my HG shampoos pretty much my favorite one and the leave-in is one of my HG leave-ins, like top two leave-ins. As you can see, <laughs> I mean, just slip, moisture, definition, everything. So my hair is moisturized and soft, and I feel like the leave-in does a good job of definition. Both my textures, because I have like two textures, and both are defined, moisturized and soft. So now, let's see what this custard is about. You have the coconut avocado curl defining custard. I just like the way it looks. It looks like it's gonna be good. <laughs> but you know, it looks kind of deceiving. I don't know if I said that I'm traveling tomorrow, so I don't wanna have struggle here. One here that will get me through two weeks easy. It actually looks, forgot what the word is, like a colloid. <laughs> forgot my chemistry, but it doesn't look completely smooth it doesn't feel like a gel at all it feels like a pudding but i can still feel the hole in there it's definitely going on easy like it's not doing that dry out thing which is promising i don't feel like it's doing that debulking either which is giving me like a big hair warning <laughs> so again i would say you don't need to put too much you definitely shouldn't put too much of this it's not one of those kind of carbonary wet gels for me which is good I could put more water and just distribute it even more but I don't have to like my hair isn't seized up like I showed you guys my hair is still moisturized the water is still on my hair so yeah I like that the previous products I was kind of mentioning that when I put the kind of style the product the white went away but this is definitely one where the white will stay it's kind of like a cream with some with hold right, so this is pretty much it um how do I feel? Interested. <laughs> I'm interested to see how it dries. Again, my hair looks big, but I do feel some holes. So that's how I felt last time when I was like, 
I'm traveling, I don't want to take the chance, but now I'm just like, oh, I'm excited. What we gonna get, what we gonna get, I'll know tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do the other side and come back and show you guys the shake. So this is it. This is me finished. Yeah. <laughs> and this is me kind of nervous, kind of excited. This is like before I shake it out. So you can definitely see it's big. But I do feel some hold. This is what I do to really get my volume. So I'm liking it so far, definitely. But I'm looking forward to tomorrow so I know what's really real. <laughs> and this is it. So see you tomorrow when it dries. Wish me luck. We'll be back. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about like the scents and the ingredients and everything. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> yeah, so this is pretty much it. It's big, it's light, it's voluminous. I am liking and I'm loving my shape. <laughs> yeah, so it definitely is a lighter custard, so it's not gonna weigh down your hair, but it is gonna add moisture and everything, and it is gonna give you like some hold, some definition. But it is a very soft hold, like it pretty much feels like no hold. Like, I don't feel a cast at all, but at the same time, I do have a good shape and I did retain moisture, so I do feel like there's some hold in there. So it definitely depends on what you're looking for. Shrinkage is on 10, so you know, it's not gonna like elongate or anything like that. It is just going to give you some definition on the soft hold. So I did a bunch of reviews just praising this and it felt just as amazing. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, I guess. You can check out like my other video. I think I did like two videos on this, so you can check it out. But I loved it. HG, moisture definition, everything is on point. This is just a great leave-in. I'm picking up more this Black Friday. This one has like a stronger fruity scent. It almost smells like strawberry, I would say. Probably not exactly that. I'm gonna give you a little look at the ingredients again. I just feel like the hyaluronic acid is really cool. And it's great that it has moisture and slip and definition. And it's like a really light, but not too light leave-in. And a little goes a long way. I've been using this for a good while. So it's just kind of like all the points I look for in leave-in. It all there. <laughs> So this is kind of like the one that you guys know about. And this is kind of the mystery that we're all trying to figure out about, I guess. So I would say that this batch was different from the previous batch. This batch was even more of like a cream and less of like a custard, I feel, than the previous batch. And I feel like it may have had less hold than the first batch. Of course, I didn't let the first batch dry, so we'll never know. It had a great slip. It has a nice coconut type scent. I don't know if it's like coconut mixed with something else or just coconut. But I'm smelling the coconut and I'm loving it. it smells yummy. Like I mentioned, it's just, it doesn't really, it's not slimy at all. So it is kind of going to stay there. So this is good in the sense that it's not going to be drippy and stuff. And you, it kind of prevents you from using too much because you really shouldn't with this kind of gel. You really want to be sure to work it in to avoid flakes and everything. A little bit goes a long way or a fair way for me. So even though it's light, it's not like one of those gels where I had to empty the whole bottle. I did feel like if something was happening, I did feel like if I was getting some hold and some definition. I think the ingredients are pretty much the same as last time. But it does work slightly different in my hair from the first time. And this is the Curl Enhancing Cream. So I haven't used this yet. Based on the ingredients of this, I see a lot of moisture. I don't see much in there for hold as well. So I would caution again for if you're looking for big hold, this might not be the product. But I'll definitely try it out and see what I get. There's definitely no flipping around in here. It's pretty solid in this jar. So these do come with like kind of type directions. This one says kind of straight to kinky. This has like straight to kinky. Whereas this one just has wavy and curly. I guess this is how it works on oily kinky if you wanted to know. <laughs> So that's it you guys, I'm glad to just come on and just solve the mystery, show you guys what this looks like. I'll definitely be buying more from Anasi and I'll definitely be coming back to show you guys the cream and how the cream works in my hair. So stay tuned for that, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Bye!